Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be demonstrating a few sums from my workbook where we need to use the small friend addition formula. In this particular video, I'll focus on sums uh, where we need to use the small friend addition formula for plus one and plus two. In the following video, I'll cover the sums where we need to use the formulas for plus three and plus four. So let's start with this page. A uh, few sums from this page where we need to use the plus one formula. So let's consider the first sum here. This one. Okay, the first number is eight. So on the abacus, this is our units place rod. So I'll take eight directly. Okay, eight is done. The next number is minus six. So I can subtract six directly as I have enough bits available to subtract. So I'll subtraction of six is done. Next number is addition of two. I can add two directly. I have two bits available here. Okay. And the last number is one for adding one in this situation. We don't have any bead available here on the lower side, but we do have the bead of five available on this rod. Okay. So we can use the small friend formula of plus one, which is mentioned here at the top. It is plus five minus four. I'll do plus five and minus four and finish the addition of this one. Okay. And the final answer that we have is five. Coming to the next sum, let's consider one from the second row. Uh, let's take this one. The first number is 24. I'll take 24 on the abacus like this. Next number to be added is one. We, again, in a similar situation, we don't have a single bead here on the lower side, but we do have the bead of five available on this rod. Hence, we can add one using the small friend addition formula, which is plus five minus four. Next number to be added is four. We do have four bits available now, so we can add it directly. Okay, done. The last number is minus eight. Minus eight can be sub done uh, directly as we have enough bits available to subtract. So I'll subtract eight here and the final answer that we have is 21. Coming to the third row, uh, let's consider this particular sum. The first number is three. Okay, three is done. Next number is 11. Now for adding 11, I need to add one on both tens place as well as units place. So I'll add one on the tens place, one on the units place and addition of 11 is done. I did not need to use the friend, uh, small friend here. Moving to the next number, it's 51, addition of 51. So for doing 51, I need to add five on the tens place rod, which I can do directly. I have five available, okay, and one on the units place. So on the units place, I don't have a single bead available here, but do I do have the bead of five available. So I will, I can use the small friend formula of addition of one, which is plus five minus four and finish the one addition from the 51. Okay, coming to the last number, which is addition of two. So two can be added directly and the sum is over. The answer here is 67. Now let's consider a few couple of sums from the last row. Uh, let's consider one of these, uh, this one here. The first number is 18. I'll take 18 directly. Okay, next number is minus five. I can subtract five from the units place. Okay, it's done. Moving to the next number, it is addition of one. This time I do have one bead available to add. So I don't need to use the small friend formula for adding this one. Okay, I can add one directly. Coming to the last number, again it is addition of one. Now for adding this one, I don't have a single bead available here. Hence, I'll check whether I have the bead of five available. We do have bead of five available here. Hence, we can use the small friend addition formula, which is plus five minus four and finish the addition of one. The final answer for this sum is 15. Let's consider one more sum from this page. Uh, let's take uh, this particular sum. The first number is 28. Okay, I'll take 28 here. Then the next number to be added is one. I can add one here directly as I have a bead available here. Okay, so addition of one is done without the need of the small friend formula. The next number is subtraction of five. 
so for subtraction of 5 we'll just remove the upper bead of 5 and subtraction of 5 is done and the last number is addition of 1 for adding 1 on the units place I need to use the small friend formula this time as I don't have a single bead available here and I have the bead of 5 available so I'll do plus 5 minus 4 and the addition of 1 is done okay so we have seen of, uh, about 5 examples from this page where we needed to use the small friend addition formula of plus 1 moving to the next page This is the page for plus 2, addition formula for plus 2. Let's start with a sum from the first row. Let's consider this one. The first number is 13. I can, I'll take 13 here. Then the next number is 2. For adding 2 on the units place, now I don't have 2 beads available to add here directly. I have only a single bead. I'll not touch this single bead. For adding 2, I'll check whether I have a, the bead of 5 available. Here we do have the bead of 5 available. Hence, we can use the small friend formula for plus 2, which is mentioned here as plus 5 minus 3. 3 is the small friend of 2. Hence, the formula is plus 5 minus 3. So, we'll do plus 5 minus 3 and finish the addition of 2 here. Okay. The next number to be uh, subtracted is 5 here. So, I can subtract 5 directly. Done. And the last number to be added is 2. So for addition of 2 this time we don't need the small friend formula as we have enough bids available here. Addition of 2 is done and the final answer for this particular sum is 12. Let's take one example from the second row. Uh, let's consider this example. First number is 75. I have taken 75. The next number to be added is 4. I will add 4 directly. Okay, I had enough beads available, no need of any friend here. Next number is minus 6. To subtract my 6 here, I have enough beads available to subtract. So, I will subtract 6 directly. And moving to the last number which is addition of 2. For adding 2, I, I don't have enough beads available here to add. But I do have the bead of 5 available. Hence, I can use the small friend formula for plus 2 which is plus 5 minus 3 and the addition of plus 2 is done okay so the final answer for this sum is 75 again let moving to the third row we'll check one of one sum from this row uh, let's consider this one the first number is 36 i'll add uh, start with 36 in this fashion uh, the next number is minus 5 so for subtracting 5 i can do it directly the next number to be added is 3. I do have 3 beads available here. So, I will add 3 directly. And the last number is plus 2. For adding 2, again, here I don't have enough beads. I don't have a single bead here this time. So, I will use the small friend formula of plus 2, which is plus 5 minus 3. Please be careful that we uh, subtract only the friend from the lower side. Okay. Uh, in the previous two sums, we had subtracted all the beads available because only three beads were available for subtraction here. But in this particular sum, we had all four lower beads available for subtraction. But while adding two, we will subtract only the friend from the lower side. So we added five and subtracted three only from the lower side. Okay. So the final answer for this sum is 36. Let's consider a couple of examples from the classwork section here. So let's see this sum here. The first number is 23. I'll take 23 here on the abacus. Uh, the next number to be added is 2. So add to add 2 on the units place, I don't have 2 beads available here. So I'll use the small friend formula of 2, which is plus 5 minus 3. The next number is minus 5. So I can subtract 5 directly. And then the last number is addition of 3, which can be done directly this time. And the answer that we have here is 23. Okay. Uh, coming to one more example from this page, this line. Uh, let's take this one. The first number is 33. Okay. 33 addition is done. The next number to be added is 12. To add 12, I will add 1 on the tens place directly. And coming to the units place, I need to add 2 here, but I don't have 2 beads available to add, uh, add. Hence, I'll use the small friend formula of plus 2, which is plus 5 minus 3. And then moving to the next number to add 2 again 
on the units place I, I do have two beads available so I can do it directly and the last number is minus six so subtraction of six is also possible directly I have enough beads so I'll subtract six and the final answer we have for this sum is 41 okay okay so in this way we have seen uh, five examples of both uh, plus one addition and plus two addition from uh, my workbook in the next video i'll cover a few examples for plus three and plus four